this is what I'm deciding to call Meet the Maker of um, Southern Mix, which is going to be the name of my YouTube, um, Instagram, possibly Twitter, and uh, my Etsy store, where I am going to hand eye yarn, um, and basically hand eye yarn in the Etsy store, and then basically just podcast about what I'm making, what I'm up to, um, the yarn. And just basically my all-around journey as I start this. This is my very first video that I'm recording, so I'm really, really, really excited. Um, I watch a lot of podcasts. I crochet primarily, but I have been, I mean, I've been a crocheting for um, probably close to 10 years plus. Um, and I have been knitting on and off sporadically for a few years, but I've never finished anything that I have knit. Um, and I have one project that I've been knitting on for two weeks, so I was hoping to wear it for this video. But I woke up this morning and I said, just record uh, Meet the Maker, basically. So, um, my name's Cassie. I live in the greater Nashville area in Tennessee. And, um... A city that's not so small anymore called Murfreesboro um, with my two dogs Stella and Barley a cat named Renly my daughter Charlotte who is almost six months in a few weeks and my husband Kyle um, I moved to Murfreesboro from West Tennessee almost 10 years ago for college where I went for business um, at first I was going for English and then um, couple years in I just thought yeah I this is not sustainable I probably need to change my uh, degree path to something more sustainable and I chose business and here I am wanting to hand dye yarn I guess that is business like um, and with a concentration in marketing so that should come into play and if you hear any um, pitter pattering and heavy breathing that is Stella and Barley. Stella is a five plus year old lab and Barley is a three year old Great Pyrenees um, Australian Shepherd mix. So they're Psy-E, we're gonna call it. Um, what else about me? So I was working in logistics and then once I had my daughter about six months ago, I decided I wanted to stay home with her and the plan was to um, reopen. I used to have an Etsy shop where I sold crochet and then I changed uh, the whole thing and sold custom cross stitches and it did, it did pretty well. Um, I couldn't really keep up with it because I did have a full-time job and cross stitch is <clears throat> very labor intensive um, as most of you probably know. So I ended up closing that down um, but the plan was for me to reopen it and I just couldn't get a grasp on what I really wanted to do with it because like I said cross stitch and crochet and knitting are so time intensive and for a little payoff um, the customers just don't want to pay um, X amount of money for the items and that's not anything about them it's just um, the time that it goes into it doesn't really offset the profit for that so um, I decided after much thought that I wanted to break into dyeing yarn which goes along with all of my hobbies and I'm a very creative at heart person and I just think it will be amazing so and I wanted to have a podcast to go along with that journey so I am basically just starting out like all brand new and I wanted to go ahead and start podcasting so I could document the upswing because I'm sure that it will it'll just I'll go on up with it and that's really exciting to me. Um, what else about me? I am 27. I uh, got married two years ago, probably almost three at the end of this year. Um, and other than that, I mean, I think that is it. And the um, format of the podcast will be pretty traditional for what, you know, crafty podcasters normally podcast about their work, work in progresses, uh, whips, their finished objects, um, just general life stuff because 
we're talking and I love making connections with people. I hope that through this podcast, I meet a lot of people that like to do what I do. Um, in this area and in my age group, there's not really anyone at all that likes to crochet or knit or cross stitch. Um, so it's kind of rare that I even see people um, on the internet even that like to do the same thing. So I think I've pretty much exhausted all of my podcasts. I'm going back and watching podcasts that are like eight years old. So um, yeah, figured I would start my own and hopefully somebody's interested. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this crafty journey. Thanks.